I'm talking with two women tonight who have much in common. They are both authors of suspense novels. Both of their current books are on the bestseller list, and perhaps most interesting of all, they are mother and daughter. Respectively, they are Mary Higgins Clark and Carol Higgins Clark. Mary's latest novel is Just Take My Heart, and Carol's is Cursed. This interview will take place in three parts, tonight and the next two Sundays. Welcome to both of you. Lovely you. to be here, Barbara. Thank you. We talked about this a little bit before we went on the air, but I said to you, immediately when I learned your relationship, I thought, well, there are famous acting families, the Barrymores, the Fondas, but are there famous mother-daughter writers? And Mary, you had a suggestion. Well, I thought of writing families more. John Cheever and his, his daughter Susan and his son, they're all, uh, of course, John's gone now, but they were all excellent writers mm -hmm. and writing at the same time. I don't know of a mother-daughter combination, though, that I'm not sure of. Neither does Google. <laughs> Neither does Google. <laughs> if Google doesn't know, then uh, clearly there isn't. <laughs> oh, the Oracle. Um, I'm also curious about whether you try to, at least some of the times, have books published uh, come out at the same time so that you can tour together, Carol? Is that uh, Yes, we've done that for about five years now. They they did that on purpose so we could tour together and do interviews and signings together. So it's worked out really well. And it makes your on the road life much pleasanter. Oh much simpler because for instance we we get into a city maybe at eleven o'clock at night and by the time you get to the hotel it's twelve. So to find a place that you can get something light because this is dinner about to happen and breakfast will be at six. So you're not you're not out for the seven course meal, but you do want something. <laughs> so it's nice if you go, because usually by then it's in the bar somewhere, to go in uh, two of us, you know, it just is more comfortable. Yes, yes. I'm interested in learning a bit about how you got to this place. So uh, Mary, let's start with you. Give us some perspective on, were you writing before Carol came along? Was your career established? Well, actually, when I was pregnant with Carol is when I sold my first short story, uh -huh. which had been out 40 times over a period of six years. I had 11 short stories in the mail at that time. And when that envelope came in from Extension Magazine in Chicago, a small magazine, and I looked at it, it wasn't my self-returned address, eight and a half by 11 manila folder. And I propped it up against the teapot, and I just looked at it and thought, is it possible? And of course, they offered me $100 for the story, which I thought was the idea of selling it. I'm now a professional writer, not a would-be writer. And the main character, the protagonist's name was Carol. So guess why Carol became Carol. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sweet story. How about you, Carol? Did you did you start writing at five or some such early age, or was it a later? No, I always enjoyed writing letters home from college or when I was away. But what got me into it was when I was in college, my mother had her first book coming out, her first suspense novel, had to get her second book into her agent, and didn't know how she was going to get it done on time because uh, she had a full-time job, and this was before computers. So I volunteered to sit down and type it one page at a time, and I ended up talking to her about the characters and the plots, and I did that for a number of her books. And I was originally pursuing an acting career, which was very helpful when I started to write myself. But that's really what got me into it, was initially by typing my mother's books. So was this a sort of a by osmosis process then that you, just by typing things, you started absorbing this process? Or was there some direct mentoring that went on? It wasn't yeah, mentoring. mentoring. No. no, it was more, it, I, I would also be typing it as she was writing it and, oh, what are you going to do next, that kind of thing. And I was out in L.A. and I did some of her books on tape and the this was before the publishers did their own audios. And this producer said to me, you should write a part you could possibly play. You have the acting background and you've typed for your mother. So a publisher was interested and I came up with Reagan Riley, my character, and they said to me, make her mother a mystery writer. And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I sat down and, and took a shot at it. And that was my first book, Decked. My mother came up with the title. It was about a murder on a cruise ship. 
And so then when I wrote my second book, which was a murder at a pantyhose convention, I said, well, if that's decked, this should be snagged. So that was how my one-word <laughs> titles began. And uh, that started 17 years ago.